Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the initial build of official Resurrection Remix 7.0.0 Pi and it's based on Android 9.0 Pi actually and you can see the Android version 9, the Resurrection logo and the, it's the initial build which is a 17 gender build. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, starting with the home screen, we get this pixel launcher and you can see we have this Google Now support. And here you can see we get this search bar, also search apps. Then you can see you have all of the apps from Lineage OS. Then let's check the launcher settings. And you can see we get all of the normal stuff here. Allow edit, show Google app, then show icon label. So this is actually a Lineage OS launcher. You can see the Lineage OS logo here. And Lineage OS actually uses a quick step before. Now maybe they have adapted this one. And you can see here, the uh, the same wallpaper which is used for research and remix audio I really like it like it's a google wallpaper actually then moving into settings so let's go into settings you can see the settings UI is actually changed now all of the apps uh, sorry not apps these uh, uh, icons are actually uh, fainted and color fainted and also the colors are different so it looks really cool on this white theme then into the system you can see about phone and into Android 9, you can see you get this Resurrection Remix logo in blue color, like whichever the uh, UI color you are in. And then in Android version 9, Resurrection Remix version RRP 7.0.0 and Android Security Patch level 5 January 2019 with the vendor Security Patch 1 December and it depends on the device which vendor patch is there. And also it has a derp plus kernel which is the latest one for the greatest performance and the greatest pattern. also guys it comes with miui camera by default and everything works nice so there is no such stuff which is not working and it's a fully working miui camera so good now let's take a look at all of the customizations like many people are really excited about research image brings and you can see starting with it is the status bar then you can see you have the clock customization then all of the network status bar stuff so you can see weather, the brand logo, the notification ticker and the system icons, uh, carrier label and oops sorry for the blur it's because of the phone camera I'm shooting with a smartphone. You can see also status bar icons so it's all related to status bar. Now let's move into quick settings here we get animations, tile layout, quick pull down you can enable it from left or right or the way it off advanced which has vibrate on touch and then into recent we get the slim recents and hidden apps which is a really cool feature then we into lock screen we have fingerprint lock charging info face auto unlock media cover mid screen shortcuts and you can set these shortcuts then clock font style and other options like lock screen weather then we have animations and you can set animations over the system and we also have rr configuration tab transition effect so like this is the effect here flip vertical and you can see it flips vertical so for now let's set it to a default and going into miscellaneous oh my god what the fuck is this uh actually there are options i don't know why is it like this like i was just shooting now okay so this thing is not coming up i don't know why then into interface you can see heads up dashboard so going to dashboard you can see uh, heads up you can see you get timeout and snooze timer then dashboard configuration style also you can change it to classic or bottom navigation then display size okay you cannot change it from here but you can change it from the display thing then system ui tuner oops custom lcd density pixel so i'll set it to 428 like it's already set it to 428 you can set it to 411 also it's a good thing volume panel font and these are the fonts for now then pi control gesture anywhere screenshot options miscellaneous and you can see this tab i don't know why it was there before and you can see the options are coming now again we will set one more time and it's just due to that uh, system UI stuff, so don't go in. And you can see miscellaneous has this stuff, the weather, wake clock locker, alarm locker. Into interface, we get all of this stuff, which are riddled, smart pixels, and gesture anywhere, miscellaneous. 
Endo navigation bar, we get edit navigation bar, navigation, like gestures, and it holds, only has this navigation gestures. Other stuff is just the system stuff. And into buttons, you can see you can customize the like hardware buttons. And you can see into about, we get this change log. Uh, it's not available because it's the first build. And features, here are all of the features present in the uh, research remix by the drill. Okay, it's from Lineage OS. And you can see Telegram, Twitter, all of the handles and pitch black theme, which you can apply. It is the official RR theme, which you can apply. And you can see we got all of the uh, device maintainers info. So you can check who is your device maintainer. You can contact him for reporting bugs or other stuff, not for personal things. Okay, bye. So guys, now we'll be taking a look at the PUBG review and how it like plays games. Now PUBG is most famous and uh, a game which can easily give you a gaming review of any device or a custom ROM so let's start with the PUBG review so guys as you can see I've started this uh, war match and let's check the responsiveness and stuff and you can see the response is good uh, that's good uh, it's smooth Performance is smooth actually you can see I facing no lag and I I know I have just started the game It not actually matters how it is I can check Oh my god, I cannot see where is the enemy Okay, and I'm dead. So, the responsiveness and performance is really great uh, on PUBG and it worked really well. It was not at all lagging. I know I played a really short game, but I have played it before also as you can see. I have played a lot of games on it last night. And yeah, the performance was really well. I faced no lags at all and also no such buffers and stuff like loading and stuff. Sometimes it comes through the server so wi-fi speed actually it's good and in some rounds it was like the speed was dropping the and it was like always getting no response from server even when my friends were playing in the same uh, internet so yeah that's what some matters some sometimes matters in some rounds but now this rom has a great performance and also i was able to uh, like respond great to the touches so yeah i feel like for gaming it's the best thing ever i don't actually believe in android benchmarks but like almost all of the people do android benchmarks and check their devices i just check performance by playing pubg or doing some hard shit on this device so let's check android benchmark now so for all other people who want scores here's the android benchmark and I will skip this process actually because it's a like really a boring process because it shows animations and stuff. So let's uh, make this device here and let's check. And this. guys, we have got our ended to score and it scores 11, uh, like 1 lakh 12,712. And the CPU score is 54.511. The GPU score 21.312. And the UX score 31.649. And the memory 5,240. So yeah, guys, you can compare it with uh, like those of other ROMs and so it says if I take 26% of users and last time I reviewed a ROM it said defeated 25% so I think actually this one is better so as you can check it yeah like you can just compare and check whatever it is better the to score not actually the performance like the actual performance guys that's it for the video and like nothing to review more i have reviewed the configurations the performance the gaming everything is done so i think it's time to say goodbye and bye 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 if you guys have liked this video press the like button if not then the like button also subscribe for more videos on the redmi note 5 pro and the other devices i have and also like poco f1 research and remix review is also coming soon so maybe tonight or tomorrow morning and yeah bye bye i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye